Good morning, precious. How you doing, baby? Happy Monday. You ready? Is you ready? <laughs> Good morning, Brandon. Hi, baby girl. Hi, Brandon. Give me a hug, Brandon. <laughs> Brandon working, y'all. Look at him. He's serious looking, too. Oh, let's leave Brandon alone. Let him work. How y'all doing on a Monday? Yes. I know I got the auntie sweater on. I know. Yeah. Yeah. How you feel, baby? Yeah. Did you make it? You did? Okay. Oh, shit. Let's see what they got over here. Let's see what this black cherry do. Yeah, they don't have my premium blend. But I ain't gonna say nothing about them not having my premium blend this morning. I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> it don't taste the same. No, it don't. Just like this Michigan cherry got cherry taste to it. It is not the same. That ain't good. Hey, Miss Lady, how you doing, y'all? That's my favorite manager. Yes, yes. How you doing, boo? You been all right? All right. Hi. Oh, it's like the bread. So, yeah, guys, today I'm a coffee conversation with you. Can you hit that subscribe button? I know. I'm going to wait. You know, I'm going to wait. Go do that. Go to YouTube. Come up off of here. Go to YouTube. Hit Shikenya. Hit that. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Don't do that. Don't leave. Don't leave me. Don't leave me, baby. We're gonna go with a DM today. I know. I ain't want to either. I wanted to get into the influences you have about your babies. I wanted to get into that, but nope, y'all know when I get a DM and I tell them to subscribe to my channel, and when I tell them to share that on their page and they do it and tag me, y'all know I gotta make them priority. So we're gonna backtrack a little bit. I had a mom, I had a mom who wanted to know it was a two hitter, <laughs> how and why it was a two hitter. Did I make her share two shows? No, I didn't. <laughs> I should have, huh? <laughs> but no, I didn't. But she wanted to know why she got to respect her baby daddy so much. Oh, that's what she thought with the sugar. Because this the substitute tastes different. She wanted to know why she had to give so much respect. I know. And please don't laugh. I know some of y'all probably in the back laughing. Or think that that was a dumb question. It really wasn't. It really, it really wasn't a dumb. <laughs> really was. There's no such thing as dumb questions. And then she wants to know why. Why and how. Why, why, why and how can she do these things? You know, just in case she thought about doing it at some point. I know. Why is simple. Why is simple. Why is very, very simple. <clears throat> Oh, I like your hair. Have a good day, baby. Why is very simple. Why? Because that's that child's dad. I know. <laughs> yeah, I'll be stressing. I ain't got no drama. I, you know, I'm so simple with it. I know. I know it don't look like that when y'all see me out because I be looking so glamorous. <laughs> and I'm famous, so you don't, you don't be expecting me to like the little things in life or appreciate the... I know. I know. That's y'all people that be judging right off the rip. Hey, Michelle. How you doing, baby? I know, but yep, I answered it just that simple. They said, why? 
do they have to respect they baby daddy? So this goes for the baby mamas too. Why you got to respect your baby mama? <clears throat> Just because that's that child's <laughs> dad. <laughs> and that's that child's mom. Just that simple. So of course she came right back with me. I go pop all it. Put on my seatbelt. <laughs> Oh, you doing well? Okay. Yes. Well, I got to ask. You are one of my supporters, Michelle. You check in with me. You like my posts. Yes. I sh you, gotta, you show me love. I got to show you love back. That's how we keep it count. I'm oh, sorry, guys. I thought I had talked to Ringer off. But, yeah. So, why? Because that's that child's dad. And then they came back with why let me see because they went back to another video and remember when i told you guys that one of your job your main job is to make sure that that child respects and loves that other parent you know she came back with that that question you know why is that so important why she got to do that i know these questions are not crazy i, I guarantee you they're they're really not you know i used to think they were but they really not because people have some different feelings when they break up with people they really don't want to be they want to be done with them i tell you i and i feel them because if it wasn't for the fact that i had shared a child with my ex-husband that nigga wouldn't see me ever in life sorry my language christians folks this is a christian show i'm sorry but no it's just certain individuals that you just rather not deal with so i understand and i get it i get it but when it comes when it comes to those babies fix it jesus all that goes out the door and all that goes out the window your personal feelings has nothing to do with the parenting with that baby it just don't just because somebody cheated on you ain't no reason to keep that baby away from them or discourage them. You cannot raise a child with someone who does not, I'm going to say love and respect you. And if you can't get the love and the respect, you damn sure got to have that respect. You cannot raise a child with individuals that don't respect you. So that has to be established early on so i feel for those parents who are in a situation where you have raised your child with individuals that not only don't respect you but they don't love you and they give zero clucks about you that right there is a sticky situation sticky because that's how you have situations where the child is being raised by one parent and they don't have to respect the other parent. They don't have to see the other parent. They don't. Man, you wonder how that happens. It happens because, first of all, y'all don't respect one another. And your job is to ensure that that child respects that other parent. So... I, I I don't, I, you know, I, I say I was going to refrain from, from putting a lot of my personal out there, but I, I can only go off of what I know. And I, I can only go off of what I know. So what I do know is that to be true, as far as you have to ensure that that child respects the other parent. And, and, and in my mind, the things that I did to ensure that was... When I told y'all, I remember when I, when I heard her raise her voice at him and I immediately stopped the car and I checked her. That right there was one. And he heard me check her. That right there, I'm not going to tolerate. I'm not going to tolerate you raising your voice at your dad. No, you, you're you going to respect him. You know what I'm saying? That would come out. Um, The time she would say something about him, you know, and, and, and didn't, you know, things that a child shouldn't, you know, shouldn't say, I would correct her. You know what I'm saying? If she said something that was out, out of pocket, you know, I would correct. It was certain things that I would do just the fact of me dropping her off. Do you think that they would have a good relationship if it wasn't for me ensuring that? We're just going to take it back to the basics. Do you really think if, it, if, if I wasn't dropping her off like clockwork and limiting her visitation, do you think that they would have a good relationship if I did that? Do you think that they would have a good relationship if I was being messy and mean? No, no. But you got to be careful. Because if that's not being done on the other side, you put yourself in a trick bag. Like I put myself in a trick bag because I did so much 
to ensure those relationships that it wasn't being done on that end to ensure mine. So therefore, if they're not doing that on that other end, and you are, it makes it seem, <clears throat> it makes, it, it makes, it, it, it helps in the defense if you have people that's trying to prove that they're better than you or they can do more than you or they can do this and that and the third. If you are on the other end of that and if they're not respecting you and you're totally respecting them on this side and hyping them up, you actually are ensuring the fact that they must be. Because if here it is, you're talking about respect them and do this for them and do that for them. When over here, they don't say nothing about you. They don't even want us to deal with you because y'all dirty. Y'all, you know, not to say that it's like that on, on in all situations, but I'm just giving you a clear example of how it has to be done on both ends. There's no way me and my baby relationship to be the, to be the way that it is. So me going on this journey to figure out why and taking y'all along this journey with me, I'm hoping that you guys can find closure. I'm hoping that you can heal. I'm hoping that you can understand why things are being done. And I'm hoping that once you understand and realize what's being done, that you can understand and deal with it and, and push through and get over. Because all these different stages that I'm taking you through, I'm getting you built up to that point. You know, if you're if you are trying to find clarity or closure or whatever the hell that's that's going on i'm taking you with me and it's a lot of people that's going through it so with that being said respect is a must you cannot raise children with individuals that don't respect you now if you're in a situation where you be beefing with your baby mama your baby daddy i mean shit you just about can expect what's gonna happen and what's going on and and and, and whatnot but you in a situation like me where people act like they respected you they act like they respected you it, it, it takes a whole different spin to things because at that point ain't nobody playing fair ain't nobody playing fair because if i would have known what i know now she wouldn't have been going over there because you can't tell me that I have good relationships with my other children and it's just this one kid. So what's the difference with this one kid and all the other and the other children and the other family men and just everybody that were like, why is it just with this kid? Like what's really going on? And I don't raise other children. I don't raise my two little brothers. And I would still get the same response in certain situations from all of them. But this one kid. Why is this one kid so... What, and that's where the influences come in at. What other influences have you had around this one particular child? It's the other side of the family. So now you got to get to the bottom of what's going on with the other side of the family. That's causing this child... To act the way that they're acting so yeah it gets deep and we're not gonna talk about it today i know y'all want me to get back to the influences i know and i am but i had to get to that dm because they really wanted to know why is it they had to show so much respect to this man that cheated on her and left her <laughs> and the only thing i can tell her was because that's that child's dad that's the only reason that you need that's the only reason that you need not to talk bad about that man in front of that baby that's all that's the only thing you need you got to make that man seem like a superhero. <laughs> if that man is trying to be in that child's life and that man is active in that child's life, you make that man out to be a superhero and vice versa. If that lady doing what she got to do for that baby and she there and she show up, she ain't absent, she ain't neglective, she ain't abusive to that baby, you you hype her up like a superhero. I don't. I, there is no way, there is no way I should be going through what I'm going through right now because I'm a superhero. I'm a superhero to my babies. Everything that I have ever done in life has been for my children. And so that's when I tell y'all that if y'all did love them babies that y'all buy all that expensive stuff for and them iPhones and all <laughs> and be parading them around your family and friends fresh as hell to show people that you a good parent. <laughs> Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Let me regret. Let me digress. <laughs> I'm about to go there. <laughs> you have to respect one another for the sake of these babies. So in my defense, if I wasn't a good parent and if I wasn't doing what I supposed to do as a parent, which was ensure that that child loves and respects that man, they wouldn't have the relationship that they have today. So in turn, scale. 
should be a part of that baby's life. <laughs> my family should be a part of that baby's life. And the skills should be balanced. So therefore, make sure that while you doing all this respecting that I'm telling you to do. Because you're going to tell them this warlord told you to do it. <laughs> Just make sure you're getting it on the other end. Because I damn sure would have had a big ass family meeting and made sure that people respected me for the woman that I am. Yes. I went to school. My baby saw that. I started a business. My baby saw <laughs> They see me work every day. I include them in everything that I do. Half the stuff, if we did, if we, if we love them babies, we wouldn't do. We wouldn't do. Because everything that I do is for my children. Every job that I have held, I made sure <laughs> that the schedule accommodated my children's schedule. Because all my children were participating in something at some stage in life. The boys was in football, what, football, t-ball, the Kennedy was in dance, and then Kelly was in cheerleading, golf. Kennedy and Kelly was in volleyball and basketball. Kelly was in golf and cheerleading. So any job that I've held had to accommodate my children's uh, schedule, first and foremost. And then any business that I've started, I made sure that my children were either a part of it or it was for them, if not both. So with that being said... And with the lack of positive male and female role models out here for our children, do you really, do you really feel that discouraging a relationship and taking that child out of the other parent's life is the best thing? Is the best thing? Because when you take a child out of that parent's life, I told y'all once before in some other videos, you're not only taking that child out of that parent's life, but you're taking that child out the grandparent's life, the auntie's life, the nieces, the nephews, the other siblings, if they have it. How can you practice or preach about family values? And if, for instance, you share a child with someone, you have children, and so do they. How can you practice family values if you are encouraging this child to have a relationship with the child that you have in your home, but you're not encouraging them to have a relationship with the other siblings at the other parent's home? How could that be? How can, how can you preach that? How can you make that make sense? How can you have a healthy relationship with your mom or your dad, but you're discouraging the relationship between your child with his mother and his father? Fix it, Jesus. How can you preach that? How can you have a child walk around thinking that they better than somebody else and they only stay up the block from the other people, the very people that you're telling this child that they better than? I'm telling you, y'all, it's deep today because I'm in my feelings today. I'm in my feelings. I miss my baby. And if y'all been following me through these videos, <laughs> I shouldn't be missing my baby. There's no reason why my baby shouldn't be with me. There's no reason why my baby shouldn't be calling me. And there's no reason why my baby shouldn't respect me. So I need you to go to YouTube <laughs> and look up Shakia. And I want you to subscribe to my channel because these are conversations that you get in most mornings. And you know what? I'm parked now, guys. Now I can read what you got to say. Ooh, because I just been going on and on and on. And y'all been talking to me. And that's why this is called Coffee and Conversation. How you doing? Wait. Thanks. Okay. Always. I love the children, but I see this all the time with my friends. This is Michelle talking, guys. Family, I love the fact that I always keep it real. That's right. You got to keep it real with the kids. Hey, Miss Dana, how you doing, boo? Miss Dana famous, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all follow Miss Dana J. Yes, how you doing, boo? What up, James in the house? What up, Cordell? Good morning, baby. Yeah, I, went, I know I went on my rant, y'all. I was in my feelings for like five minutes. I know. I know. Hey, hey, hey. I'm just making sure I ain't miss y'all. I'm making sure I ain't miss y'all. Real talk. Okay, Michelle. Hey, Audie, how you doing, boo? All right, guys. Y'all have a good... Hey, Lynn. There you go, baby. Lynn back, guys. Going through the exact same thing. My son's father has had the chance to bring our son up to... Up like a gentleman and back rear shaking my head. He thinks he's a womanizer. He thinks the world revolves around him and it doesn't. Oh, 
Oh, I know the feeling. I hate when he don't let me there go. However, he drifts to the negative side after. I know. Oh, my God. I hate it. It's the worst right now, Lynn, because I'm going through it, baby. A strong black intelligent woman. You are true. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Love you, baby. Love you, love you, love you, love you. So, yeah, guys, I'm sorry that, that I went deep, y'all. I'm sorry I went deep, but I'm going through it right now. You know what I'm saying? And, and for people to just think that I'm delusional and I should just get over it. How do you just get over not having a relationship with your baby? You know what I'm saying? Like, how? How? And what type of child what type of child <laughs> would allow anybody to talk about their mama or their daddy i don't care who it is i don't care who it is couldn't nobody talk about my mama and my mama was a substance abuse user do you hear me though first time you call my mama a crackhead i'm going in your shit period that's how i was as a kid excuse me christian folks i'm sorry <laughs> turn the volume down Y'all know I have a potty mouth and I've been watching it, but that's, I'm just giving you, when I was a kid, you couldn't talk about our mama, man. I don't care who you was and we knew, but it didn't matter. That's our mama. And that's what you teach your children. And they should have been teaching that as well. And they shouldn't have been doing whatever it is. Cause I still don't know what, what happened. I still don't know. I'm hoping in doing these videos that y'all help me see the light because <laughs> that right there. For me to be going through what I'm going through and nobody has said anything to me over all these years, that right there is the most hurtful thing in this world. That right there showed the lack of respect because it's been many opportunities that if it was something going on that heavy or something going on to where you, you, you discourage in a relationship. Because when I say we don't hear from her, we don't hear from her for real. We don't. We don't see her. She wasn't at my sister's wedding. Oh, my God. Do you know how hurtful that was? My dad was here from Japan, and we only seen her for a half a second. Oh, fix it, Jesus. Oh, fix it, Jesus. I couldn't have failed her that much as a mom. I couldn't have. Not doing what I do. Not being who I am. Not demonstrating. <laughs> oh, fix it, Jesus. Oh, y'all. Oh, look. Look at these dogs. These dogs be on my girl block, man. I swear to God, I'll be scared to get out the car. It be usually be about four or five, but I only see one right now. And y'all see how big that dog is. And it's a pit. I know. This not turned into something else. Now we're on Channel 4 News and we have running dogs out here. No, I'm just playing. All right, guys. I'm out. I'm out. Y'all enjoy y'all day. We'll pick up tomorrow. <laughs>